Hey guys, it's Sharon from the House of Prayer. I'm back. I just want to apologize for being gone so long. It's been a very, very bad month for me with all the deaths in the family and my friends and everything that's going on. Um, I had two funerals set for Tuesday. Both of them were set for the same time. One was here in town or the next town over. And the other one was where my family lives because this was a very, very, very close friend. So a lot of my family attended the ones that could. And then found out last week that my aunt had cancer, but I, I told you about that, and she had surgery. And they took out a part of her colon last Thursday. And she had a hard time waking up, very long time waking up. And it's like she's in dementia stage right now, maybe early, early stage of dementia, but she's having a hard time and I'm having to deal with that. And um, her two daughters called me a lot because of me being a nurse or a retired nurse. What I want to tell you, though, is to please, please, please talk to your friends. Talk to your family. Don't let them go to the hospital. Don't let them take your family members out with that drug that we've talked about before. And then put them on the ventilator, and they are gone within 24 to 72 hours. Some people last longer. My friend lasted longer, but he sure did go through a lot before the end. It's a lot of cancer going around, too. Um, my cousin is still holding on. I don't know, still don't understand how, but he is. Um, I want to tell you about this group of doctors that have gotten together and they are going to give you free consultation. And if you're having these symptoms, they're going to get you the medication that you need. I will leave you the link to the article from, I think it's Zero Hedge, talking about what they can do for you to keep you safe and to heal you correctly and your family. So it's a very good article. It lists the medications. I'm not going to talk about them because they will give me a strike if I do. And I'll be gone for a week if I get a strike. So I want to tell you that. And I also want to let you know that I have... I mean, this has really taken a lot out of me. and But I'm back to start giving videos out again. I'm going to put one up tomorrow. But it's made me so weak. I'll try to get out of a chair. and Half the time I'm falling right back into the chair. And somebody has to help me out of the chair to start motivating. Um, I went to the store this morning. My husband took me. And it just wiped me out. Totally. I think I was in there maybe 30 minutes or less. But I went and bought a lot of supplies for the safe haven. A lot of the little bottles of um, like deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, hand wipes, different types of things. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, everything I could think of that was in that area. I mean, I got gobs of that stuff today. I got so much that for the first time ever... Before I reached $400, the lady stopped and said, you need to pay for this, and then I'll ring the rest of it up. So that's how it happened. I don't understand that, but I guess it's the times we're living in. Certainly had the money in the bank. Um, I still need pillows and pillowcases. If anyone wants to help donate or send me pillows, I still need... Um, Towels and wash rags, washcloths. You know, I'm from the South. We call them wash rags over there in the country. 
So, um, if anybody can help out with some of that stuff, send it to me. I sure would appreciate it. Still working on getting that all set up and keeping the supplies in the house right now and in the winter time. Uh, oh, I'm going to leave that link for you. And I'm sorry it's taken so long to come back. Um, I heard from one of our subscribers yesterday that her grandmother was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease, but it isn't what we're thinking of, but she's been asking for prayer. And I have another friend who is in need of prayer, big time. We need to stand together for this particular friend. And I've missed you. I've missed making the films, the videos, and talking to everybody. But there will be a video up tomorrow, um, Words from the Father. So, I love you all, and I'm so glad that you're stuck in there with me, and um, I'll talk to you soon.